Alright, so um, this session we want to talk about AOVs and how we can create um, like AOVs in Maya so that it helps to output them for usage in Nuke or compositing later on. Okay, so there's a documentation of AOVs um, in the Maya documents and you guys can feel free to read about it. So basically it, it outputs um, different layers or a component of the image uh, separately so that you can tweak them separately in Nuke later on. For example, the diffuse or the specular or even your polite different AOVs. Okay, what I mean by that is, okay, for example, I, I set up a scene like that, right? Then I want to, um, so in my renders, I only get a beauty. Um, so there's no AOVs within them. So I can't tell what my my key like is actually contributing to this character. I can't um, see them separately um, within the AOVs. Okay, so what I can do is um, I'll select my light. Okay, for example, this is my key light. Okay, it's key one because I duplicated my original one to to just place it and give a more dramatic um, uplighting look. Okay, so key light. Okay, go into the light shape, scroll down, you'll see this AOV light group. Okay. So under here, you need to give it a name. Ideally, we always keep it the same as your naming as uh, your like. So for example, we keep this as key one, okay? Because I, I don't do, or maybe I just change this name. So up, uh, kick, my kick like, okay? For example, and this will be kick. Okay, so this is the first step you need to do. You set the AOV like group. Second, you go into your render settings, AOVs. Click on add custom, okay. You type in caps RGBA underscore the like group name that you entered. Okay. Um, let me repeat myself. You will um, set your like group. Uh, so for example, after you you rename your likes, go to like group and set a name here, and go to render settings AOVs, add custom caps RGBA underscore the like group name that you entered, not the like name, okay? So this will be um, kick instead of no, LGT underscore kick, right? So it will be just like group name, kick. Okay, create. Okay, that way we get an AOV for this, um, our kick like. So now if we were to re-render, okay, I'll just stop, um, I'll leave it noisy. And you click here, you see that it creates a different AOV. So now if we click this, Oh, it's black. Let's see what's happening. Um, it's black. Uh, just one moment. Let me just um, troubleshoot what's happening. So my kick lag. Tribute. So it's kick. Did I spell wrong? K-I-C-K. K-I-C-K. -I -I ah, come on. Um, okay, I name it RG, R B G A. Psh, okay, so let me just delete and recreate. So R G B A underscore kick. Okay, then render again. So there you go. So under this R G B A underscore kick, I get my um kick like contribution, and you can see that in my beauty, I got my rims as well. So that's my kick. Then of course you want to expose all these um AOVs for your, all your likes. So what you can do is, uh, for example, my rim light. Okay, I have two. So say, because I do not want to, um, I want to have them in a single AOV. What I can do is, I'll go to my rim light, go to my attribute editor. Okay, I'll name it the rim. Okay, if the light group name are the same, the, the likes will be combined and output in a single AOV. Okay, so now we see, uh, I only select this screen left rim. Okay, so if I were to create the AOV for it, RGB underscore rim, and I render. Okay, I go to my rim AOV, I get my screen left one, right? But say I want to merge my screen right rim into this AOV as well. I don't want to generate so many AOVs. Okay, I would go to my light group and name it the same as my rim, the screen left rim. So I, I name it Rim, right so I put it the same here and then right now if I re-render again you can see that 
this rim AOVs consists of both the rim legs. Okay, so yep. So basically, that is the the gist. Of course, the basic on how you can um separate out your your different legs into um different AOVs. So in Nuke, you can shuffle them out, expose them up and down, shift the colors if you want, or even animate them if you want. Um, in Nuke, um, so that's the basic. So for example, um, you know, you want to go more in depth. You want to um, do some advanced stuff. You want to export your, for example, your your kick light, and you want to split this AOV into the different components of this uh on, on of this character. So for example, I want this now this kick light will shows me everything like the diffuse, the specular, or everything combined into one, right? Because it's just the RGB. And for example, if I want to just see the diffuse component and not the specular component, um, I can I can do very uh, custom stuff. So what I can do is I can go into my render settings. Okay, for example, I want to create a, a kick diffuse. Okay, so I'll create a, a blank AOV, which for me is to custom. I'll go into the attribute editor. Okay, under this custom AOV, there's this like path expression. In short, they call it the LPE, which I use to generate all these AOVs uh, for the likes. Okay, if you click on this button here, it will show you a lot of things that uh, you can use uh, because they are all in different you know, languages that you probably will not remember. So if you need them, you can click here and then um, click whatever you need. Alternatively, you can go into the, oh, not this, sorry the Maya documents again and look for this LP documentation and then inside there again you get all your for example you got your diffuse and you get the the code that you need right okay so how we can use this so now we we mentioned that we only want to see the light diffuse component right so um in the document oh sorry not this one in the documentation the diffuse is this. Okay, I'll just copy this. Okay, paste here. Okay, so star will grab all the likes and just output it as the the generic diffuse component of every light combined into one. But for example, I only want to see this kick likes diffuse contribution. So what I can do is I can instead of putting this star, right? I can um, add this, uh, I, I can't remember the name of this symbol, this triangle thing, then L dot um, quotes, um, this kick, the name of the, the light group, and then close it. Okay, um, if I remember correctly, the syntax should be like that. Let's just do a test render, and hopefully it works. So kick diffuse. There you go. So this is the diffuse component um, of the, the character. So as you can see, the diffuse component looks a bit wonky. I suspect mainly uh, the shader is reacting. I mean, the light is reacting to the specular instead. So again, we can, we can prove it. So we can create the kick specular. Okay. Then we can go into the attribute of editor of this AOV. Okay, like path expression, I mean, I can just quickly see it from here. There's this specular, this one. Okay, we will input in here. Again, we want to remove this um, star and then change it to um, the light that we are using only. Okay, so we can put like things like uh, L dot open code key, I uh, know, kick like that. Okay, then just do a quick render, go into the specular component. Okay, this is specular component. I think my diffuse is have having some issues. Let me just double check my diffuse um AOVs, um LPE. So L dot kick R D okay, let's just double check. Okay, C R D dot okay, that looks correct. So maybe it's just really um 
let me just put this dot behind check again okay so i i had the wrong syntax or the wrong way of naming this earlier on um okay i will just use a notepad so all of you guys can see because the, the text might be very small in the screen okay so by default um okay, i'll just copy by default the diffuse component lp is where is it diffuse here so it's like that right so the diffuse component technically is like that but this is grabbing all the lights in the scene um to to generate this aov so what i did is uh, what we need to do is we need to add in this and specifically point to just our kick light right so we need to input in this before this dot okay and if you have other lights that you want to do like a rim light you just need to replace this name here okay so why not just, just try it um okay i'll remove this so now the diffuse component specular component and the light source itself so um everything okay so now i want to split up my rim lights uh, contribution as well so same thing we go to our aovs we'll do rim diffuse and rim specular okay one thing to note um outputting many aovs is uh, a good thing but if you're outputting all these aovs that are not being used like you're just output outputting for fun for your personal preference you want to see them but actually they are not being used um it's not a good thing because it takes up render time and no uh, the more aovs you add the, the more render time it, it takes to to generate the, your renders so keep it to what what you need only so by default i would recommend just the rgba that should give you more than enough to to tweak um in com but for for some reason you need a specific light to tweak the specular differently go ahead and do it but do not do for every lights and export uh, export uh all the components for example the subsurface the the coating the transmissions the reflection or whatever um things that you can add don't don't just put all of them inside okay okay so now diffuse uh, we can go to here copy the the kick like that we already set up go into the the rim and paste it change the kick to rim then we can do the same thing for the specular we'll copy it then we go to the specular and rename this to rim okay now if we were to render okay we still get the beauty of everything then uh, if you look into the rim diffuse this is the diffuse component so you can see um, without specular it looks pretty nice and then um, with the specular these are the very high pings or highlights that you're seeing on the character yeah so um i mean if you are if you really are into this all this kind of aovs um lp thing um you can write scripts like python scripts or mel scripts uh, probably i can do a, a demo in a future um, episodes but we can of course write scripts um to query the scene how many likes are there and then automatically create all these aovs um by default so you don't need to go into render settings add them in manually or changing the lp manually you can use a script to generate them um, by default and that'll be great and that will showcase that you are a very efficient artist um, and you really think through the workflow because all these kind of things it's you set it up once and you can reuse it again and again um, in the future right instead of you no know, i mean that is like what they said you you suffer first and you, you create a tool and then you enjoy it for the rest of the your life with the tool that you created or you just have to suffer every every time with creating the AOVs manually. Yep, so that's it. This session is about this AOV and hopefully it's helpful to all of you guys. Thank you.